Hey guys, what's up? Today, I want to teach you how to maximize your gains for your biceps. And this workout is so effective, it's as good as training in the gym. A bucket, a pail, right? And you have to load it up and do a curl. Now, this looks like very simple, everybody can do it. However, today I got a few tips that can actually maximize your technique using this to improve your growth. So first of all, as usual, uh, you're gonna load up with water. I recommend you to load up like 20% first because you wanna start light. And if you still remember this from my previous video, actually still kept the water. And yeah. So I loaded up only like 15 to 20%, right? Because biceps is smaller muscles, it's different from back. You can't go too heavy. And you always want to warm up. So using a lighter intensity is great. So here are the steps you can improve your curl rather than just curling like that, right? Number one, a lot of people curl like this, whether on a pail of water, a gallon of water, or even a baggage. However, I find that doing this is not sufficient enough, right? Because number one, range of motion. Right, what happens if I keep my arms straight? Nothing wrong in the gym, but if I keep my arms straight, you see, this bucket, the, the pail will block my forearms and then I will have a restrict of range of motion. Instead of curling like this, I'm gonna keep my arms backward instead. Now, when I keep my arms backward, there's a problem. Not enough tension at the top, right? So the solution for this is you have to hinge your body a little bit, right? Keep your body hinge a little bit and place using your opposite arms Quench your fist, put in your stomach, and just place your elbow above your palms, right? So right here, you want to support your elbow, right? It's like doing a bridge curl and curl. So giving this hinge, right, actually helped me to have a little bit more range of motion without having too early like this to block my range of motion, right? The bucket and my form. Number two is when you recover, probably the bucket will just hit your legs. So instead of doing like this, I would like to just take a step back. It's like a strong athletic stance. A step backward, hinge forward, and this allows me to go all the way down with more range of motion, right? And then curl, okay? So this is how it works. The normal common mistakes is stabilization, right? So when you do, try not to move your elbow back and forth. So this is why you need to use your opposite fist as a spotter, right? The second common mistake is actually your forearms, right? Like this, right? I see a lot of people when they do their curl, it's like this, right? Doing this, you use a lot of forearms and over time, because of the shortening in your forearm, extending and shortening, right? 10 reps is okay, but what if you do this for months over months and years, you will get elbow injuries. So always keep your forearm straight, right? Keeping your forearm straight will use a lot of wrist power also. This is how you develop a strong wrist. Another part is extreme, right? Too much of this, right? Well, this way actually helps you to use more biceps because you are taking away the forearm's pressure by putting in more pressure for your biceps to do the lift, right? Like this, right? However, I still don't recommend people to do this because there is a load, right? There is load here. Over time, you'll get uncomfortable wrists, right? Because you have to remember that you also will be doing other exercises such as burpee, push-up, a lot of this movement. Over time, it will cause injuries. So my recommendation is keep your wrist tight in a straight line. So one thing about curling a pail of water is you don't want to grip too tight because this is different from dumbbell. Dumbbell, they have roller. Some dumbbell have it, all right? But this, if you grip too tight, right, it will just make things uncomfortable. So you want to just let it loose a little bit, go with the flow, right? Go with the flow, not too tight, just about 60% effort. Use your mind to think about the muscles. Let your muscles doing the lift, right? And that way you will get a nice flow and it feels more comfortable. Okay, you can feel free to get 
a small hand towel to wrap around for a more comfort grip, it's up to you. So to build your biceps, there's always two different angles, right? The outer angle and the inner angle. So the outer angle trains the inner short head, right? And that is here, right? And the inner angle trains the outer head. So it's always the opposite. In, out, out, in, right? So the outer head is what they call a long head, right? From this angle, when you relax your bicep, if you have a good outer head, your bicep will look bigger while relaxed, right? It's like no intentional flexing, right? So both is very important, right? So it's about the angle. So what you can do with this training is you can do with different angle. Number one, if you're in rush in time, you can just stick to one angle and that is this. Right, this is the neutral angle. However, if you have trouble gaining your arm size, I strongly recommend you to do this variation. Variation number one is curling outside. Instead of curling to neutral, you want to curl outside. Right, this will hit the short head. Right, once again, not like that. You want to just hinge a little bit for more range of motion. Say the bucket is straight. Right, so outward, you can do this. One outward for about eight reps. All right, and then switch to inward because you want to now you want to train the long head, right? Inward, however, your position to be changed because you're about to curl inward. This doesn't work. This stance doesn't work because you are limiting the range of motion. You have to change to a wide athletic stance, right? Because here you can still maintain the same range of motion at the bottom, but curl inward this time. You see? You can do this. Once you've done, the other side, right, outward, eight reps, okay, and then inward. So an alternative way to replace the bucket is just get your baggage, right? It can be a small or large, but small, more range of motion, right? So just load up the baggage with bottle of water or whatever that works for you and grab the handle, this, same setup, opposite arm, crunch your fist, take a step back, hinge forward a little bit and do a curl, All right? All right, once again, same applies to the Forearms, all right? Make sure that you are loose enough yet solid. You don't want to just hold too tight also because you want to curl with a nice and smooth motion. So here is another variation I want to show you that works your biceps. And this is actually a time saver. So instead of curling one by one, you can actually use both arms, right? But both arms doesn't really work like this, right? Well, it works for close grip, but sometimes you want to go out wide, right, with both arms. So what you can do for here is, you want to get a long towel. Then for a long towel, you want to make sure that everything is nice, like this, right? You can just do a few turn, make sure they are solid. And now you need to place your, your bucket, make sure the handle is straight, in a straight line, and wrap around them like this, right? Oh, before I start, since you're curling with both arms, you should add up the intensity and it is so easy just add the water at 50 percent and yeah this is actually a little bit more than 50 percent for a long towel like this curling on pail of water the range of motion is bad now the reason why you want to use a longer towel is because you want to do this and that is fold inward 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 and do this because this will use lesser forearms but more biceps. And one thing that when you curl, make sure that they are equal, right? It's not like this, right? Make sure they are balanced. A good way is to, you can round, 
you can do another fold like this, right, to balance things out. And this method will also help if your towel is a little bit too long, right, to improve the range of motion. All right, so from here, inward, there you go, curl. So sometimes when you're curling halfway, you notice that this happens, it's okay. Just put the pail on the floor and readjust, right, readjust, right, calibrate, right, and re repeat, right? Right, so the same rules, just keeping your elbow close to you, but this time you're not able to support your elbow, so you have to really tuck in your elbow to your rib cage, slight hinge, and curl, right? But for this, you have to control, do it in a control movement, because if you curl too fast, right, you, you will just move out of control, and you will lose balancing, right? You don't want this to happen with you, right? So you want to make sure that you're nice in control. I recommend you to pause at the top for like half a second, and all the way down, feel the stretch, half a second, and repeat. Squeeze. So if you have trouble doing this because of the range of motion, you can get, you can get a block or bricks. All right, so stand on top. This will improve your range of motion. All right, this. Okay, now I got more range of motion, so the bucket just won't touch the floor. So the additional tips to improve this exercise is when you do this exercise, don't just curl like this, make sure you curl outward. Make sure to straighten the towel at the top, like this. Try to straighten the towel, will help you to use more biceps, right? Just try to straighten and it's not easy, right? Because this will force you to use supination, right? Because when you try to straighten the towel, this happens. Right, supination will fire out the short head, especially the short head, even more. So the same thing, if you want to train your long head, right, also known as the hammer curl, you can use a neutral grip instead, right? So a long towel will also work, right? So you want to fold inward again, like this, keeping it straight, right? So from here, just curl inward instead of curling outward. This will train the long head of the biceps, right? And in addition, if you want to train and work more of your grip and forearms, you can choose to use a shorter towel just like this, and instead of wrapping around, just hold like this, right? And do a curl, right? Shorter range of motion because it's shorter tower, but this will work a lot of your grip, right? I think it's a very good training also for your forearms, at the same time your biceps, okay? So it's up to you to choose whether you want to go for pure biceps isolations, or you want to go for overall biceps and grip training. Okay, so there you have it. This is how I train my biceps at home. By just doing this demo, my arms already pumped up if I felt like a real workout, All right? So to recap back, you can do a single arm neutral grip, curling outward or curling inward. I strongly recommend you to do like almost like superset version, curling outward for five to eight reps, no rest, then curl inward five to eight reps. That's one working set, right? Also depends on your goal. If you have a stubborn outer arms, right? The long head, you can curl inward first. This is where you're strongest and then curl outward, right? Or you just curl neutral in a neutral position. It's all good, right? You can always use a baggage if you don't have a bucket of water, load up with weight and use both arms on a bucket, right? On a pail, both arms version also works well. The feeling is like curling a barbell, right? And it saves a lot of time. Feel free to implement every single grip, wide grip, close grip, and even the forearms variation, okay? Worst come to worst, if you got nothing at home, you can always feel free to just curl with a towel just like this, right? By putting a body weight, stepping, and just curl. This is in my previous video. Please check it out, right? So last of all, how many reps and how many sets you should do for these exercises? I recommend you to start with at least three working sets, right? For left and right, right? 
three sets, three sets, right? Outward three sets, um, neutral grip, right? Three sets, neutral grip like this because you want to save your forearms or you want to train your forearms three sets or even if you are doing a body weight version, three sets, right? And the repetitions, I would say do, try to do 15 reps, right? If you do can do more than 15 reps, add the intensity, add up the water, right? Make sure you hit about 80% to 90% out of your max, right? And make sure you feel your biceps. And I'm pretty sure you will feel your biceps, right? Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.